welcome back to part nine of my Satsuma Let's Play of Shogun 2 Total War Fall of the Samurai. We continue where we left things off last time. Welcome to Fall of the Samurai Economy uh, Mode 101. Hopefully we'll be able to squeeze in a battle towards the end of this episode. But for the next few turns, and by few I mean probably like 12 to 20... We're going to be focusing on economy and getting that research done so that we can get our modern army. Um, get the army war college built here in Satsuma. And then be able to start producing the best units we've got. And then, then we can risk that bug and that trade route. Um, obviously, I said I didn't want to just kind of play to the confines of preventing that bug occurring. But it's kind of worked out nicely that now that we've conquered all of this starting island that we start on of um kyushu we are by the looks of it one single conquest away from vic from victory one single conquest away from triggering realm divide and then we're going to choose to go republic so we'll pretty much be facing everyone so now is kind of a perfect time to just take foot off the gas a little bit we've achieved our initial objectives let's invest in our economy a little bit build up get our research done get that modern army research done and, and prevent that bug occurring because then we can launch a full-scale war to claim um you know the rest of the territories that we need i i'm not planning on doing full map conquest with this just because i think it will be a grind um but I still think, well, I'm assuming we'll still need Musashi and Yamashiro. And Musashi is right in this, the heartland of this kind of trio of um, shogunate territories of the Nagaoka, the Eizu, and the Jozai. So I'm going to have to face these three behemoths anyway. So maybe I can shore up some of these imperial factions despite being Republic. I don't know. I don't know how much they'll hate me. If not, we'll need to carve a bloody path all the way through probably build up the railway system as well and then launch ourselves through here so it's not going to be format conquest but we're probably going to be conquering a good chunk of it um to get through to ach to achieve our objective so it's, it's going to be like almost like the the halftime show right now we're having a bit of a pause a bit of a breather and then it's going to be full-on crazy action because not only will getting all this research done allow us to get great new land units but also naval units as well we're going to be able to access some ironclads and things like that which is going to be great wasn't i building another kayamaru as well somewhere wasn't i building up here actually could have sworn i was building one where is it got that one there i could have sworn i was going to build another kayamaru was i just thinking about it and i didn't get around to doing it Oh, no, it's in here. Yeah, there it is. I knew there was somewhere. Um, yeah, those guys were there. I keep forgetting my agent, my foreign veteran, but he's now in that army, so that's fine. You've leveled up, my daimyo, so time to pop in a new retainer. Income trade tariffs, tariffs only, or plus 5% replenishment rate. Uh, replenishment rate, yeah, let's do that. And then we're going to go in, and we were going to do, what, Vanguard and that Indomitable Warrior. Because then, so yes, two more stars to go. So it'll be there and down there, won't it? Reset. Mm-hmm. So why did I hold off? Oh, because I've only just unlocked that tier. Yeah, because my only choice was to go over there, wasn't it, with the other ones? Yeah. So again, I need to wait. I'm going to get two more. Ah, oh, but at the next level, I'll be able to go through three of these skills. Still won't be able to get that straight away, but that'll be the final level. So for that, I'd be able to go for Scourge and Legendary Commander, probably. Paragon. Yeah, I'm not worried about that one. Oh, no, actually, I won't be able to go for Scourge because I'd also need that one. And we have to go through the previous ones to get it. So I'll have a spare one. I can, I can get all of those, basically. And get all of these. Offense. Coastal Bombardment. And the broadside damage done, but yeah, that's really nice. Cool. Yeah, nice. So yeah, we leave that point in there for now again. So don't worry about the one point that's dangling in there. That's all good. Do, 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 do. 
anything else we can do right now we're just building up the economy just letting everything come on through we probably could get rid of some of these units we need to i was going to build up your army yes, my lord. and take you out so you don't take any negative traits it same with you should be fine now you're going to go in there the other generals i'm honestly not that fussed by although my son and heir i feel like maybe i should be doing something more with you Let's swap generals around. Over we go. Right, end the turn. I would have you listen to my offer. You may find Saga want military alliance, and uh, nope. I'm going to be declaring war on you, but not yet. Not till I know I can challenge your fleet. So yeah, we want to have a nice big naval battle against them if we can. Asia increases in rank. The one we've got over here. Lovely. Geisha, 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 Geisha. And saying nobles. Nice. And yeah, Geisha, that one. Boom. Perfecto. Clan destroyed. Suwano. Nice. That'll be Tosa pushing through there. Yep. I mean, when we go to war with the Saga, it's going to kick off everything. Because they're at war with um they're a war they're allied to the toast so that's gonna make quite the uh show although i'm also allied with them so it'll be interesting to see where the toaster go place your bets now <laughs> place your bets now if i can get trade with anyone right now we should yep. i do not wish to listen to you because we're turtling for a while and sometimes unwelcome encounters every day i'm turtling do, 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 do. Azu. I have nope. better things to do than I have better things to do than listen to an old woman's prattle. Old woman's prattle? I'm not an old woman. How roddy dare you? How roddy dare you? Uh, yeah, for two seventy deal. You will find some merit in the idea. What well, it means to counter it. Whoops. It's fine. Nagaoka, trade. Yes. Speak yeah, boy. For my sword is ready to take your head. Rude. I like my head. Please don't hurt it. Let's just maximize our income. Obama. I do not wish to. Rude. And yeah, you guys said no as well, right? Yeah. Nice. Look at that. Beautiful income. How friendly am I with the toaster? That is a good question. We are plus 276. I assume the realm divide modifier is the same as in the base game, which like it goes to minus two hundred. So Toast should actually be fine if it kicks off. But it's more the fact that I'm going to be attacking their ally, the Saga, because I want to, and I want to take the gold mine over there as well. Right, pop you guys in there. Let you all replenish with the foreign veteran inside. Okay, we've got one more turn till that completes. That's plus one modernization. I'm going to save all my money because if if that research is enough to get it over the line, then we can build. Oh, no, we can't build that because we'll need the modern army still. Ah, nuts. I was thinking, oh, yeah, that'll be ready to go. No, it won't. Not until we then do that for 12 turns. So it's going to be 24 turns. Uh, we can just blast through. Um, we can upgrade a load of these settlements, to be fair. Like here, we can get the geisha building. The uh, No, we've already got sorry, the function. We can get the cottage industry. Let's start getting... Let's start upgrading them. Um, where we can. Can you... No, that was all your money, wasn't it? Or all, all that we could build in that upgrade... 
we could probably look at disbanding a few troops although actually as modernization increases the penalties increase so we don't want to probably change too much no, i think that's all we can do okay all right in turn Right, trade agreement broken with the Takasuki. Was that because they got destroyed? Development level increases. Huzzah! Boom. It's summer. Nice. And there we go. Oh, it's only 10 turns as well. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, get that going. Then we get the Army War College before facing issues. Kayamaru. Can they be, can they be upgraded when we upgrade our technology? Can we like retrain them to be copper hold? Or are they is that permanently wooden hold? Anyone know? Right, okay, well we don't need any more modernization stuff. But same time, I can't upgrade that because we need that in there. Although let's upgrade the field artillery school to the artillery academy. And we want it all from here, from Satsuma, because that's where we're gonna be able to get our best, most accurate troops. Especially if we go for the gunsmith next. When we have 9,600 because that gives us plus 20 accuracy to all units recruited in this province. That is going to be the best place for us to recruit troops from. Probably won't be the only place we're recruiting from, but if we can, that'll be where we get our best armies from. If we take our time. You guys are unhappy though. If you're unhappy and you know it, clap your Satsumas. If you're unhappy and you know it, clap your Satsumas. Let Get some levy infantry to fill the gap there to make them happy again. You guys want everyone's unhappy. Uh oh. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's look. Yes, everyone's upset because that's minus three happiness. Probably the easy way to fix it is just to recruit an additional levy unit everywhere. I just go back here, cancel one levy there because we only need two. Then get some more there. We're gonna need it. You can be unhappy for uh, you can be unhappy for a turn, but not that many turns. Um. Okay, I can shuffle a unit down. Ah, nuts. Can he does he have long further movement range? Oh, I didn't actually want you to go in, but okay. Yeah, you take that unit down. Oh, oh no, they're at zero now. That's fine because his presence. You guys are fine. You guys are not fine, but I can't put a unit in there just yet. You should be fine. You've got like a, you've got a geisha and the um, Ishin Shishi. I imagine if I take him out, you guys would be very unhappy. Command, yep. My lord. My lord. Rally the populace. I can't. I mean, I can get some police stations in there now. That's probably what I need to start building. Can I get any more geisha? No. Yeah, you guys aren't happy either. Monetization. Yeah, it's increasing. Oh, I can't do it. So I'm going to have to exempt some regions. Or I could send out the spear levy. Because I'm not going to need them everywhere. Okay. Right. Send. We'll leave one behind here. But the other one can go over here. It'll be able to go into Heezen next turn. Which means you can take one of them and pop it down to Nagasaka. Or not, Nagasaka? Nagasaki, rather. Minus one on each. They can survive it for a turn. Do, 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 do. Right. End turn. Fine. Mounting unrest. Yep, ignore that. We know. Oh, we know. 
also know that they're going to do that. <sighs> oh, no, it's, you know what? It's fine because Daimyo can go. Actually, I think he just needs to be in the territory. Oh, no. I'm thinking of my Takeda one. You go sit in there. They're now fine. Go pop him in temporarily. Makes them happy. You go into Heezen. That makes that one happy. You go into Nagasaki. Oh, no. Come on. That's not cool, guys. Nuts. Okay. I'm going to have to exempt you for a turn. As always, we'll have a rebellion. You're fine. You guys are positive one. It's still increasing, yeah, because we're upgrading that. What it, does that increase repression? Plus six. Four turns. Oh, it's that one, isn't it? Yeah, it's that one coming in. Um, so I probably should upgrade that as well. More repression. Yay. Um, more levies required. We're going to have to go there. We're going to have to exempt you for a turn. You're now fine. You're fine. You're already fine. As are all of those. Boom. Uh, any other important notifications? Managing the realm. Who'd have thought it would be tough? Pop you in there. Not going to build any more ships for now, though. Um, just check. There's nobody else that wants to trade. Come on, Obama. Oh, these guys that we were trading with. No? Okay, you don't want to anymore. Fine. No more turns on the modern army. I can't see anything going wrong there. Uh, I did see one two comments saying, like, why don't you just like, attack your uh, your vassal? I ain't going to turn on them. Not unless they try and break off, which could well be when Realm Divide kicks in. So we'll see. Blast through some turns. Be the oppressive Japan I believe you can be. Imperial Japan, here we come. We're going Republic, though. <laughs> I mean, right now we're all, we're giving all the out, outward signs that we're going to support the imperial cause a hundred percent. But the moment it kicks off, Republic of Satsuma. Pop them in, nice and exempt, uh, uh, exempt rather, unexempt. From tax. Same thing here. In your pop. Happy days. Yeah, nobody is kicking off. Right, now take him away. You technically need one more unit there. There's the saga. Actually, yeah, can I go? Can I just sell my ships around here right next to them and see what they will that reveal what they have? And see one of them. Head back to the port. Yeah, make that like a military one up there because it's a northern port. So we could make this one actually. But right, we are one turn away from getting the British Trading District and starting to get someone. I'm not going to recruit any more units though just yet because I want to get the gunsmith. In fact, that's what I should really be saving my money for. Now, if I can, see if we can just blast through a few turns, no spending. Just firing it all into our economy. I just kind of like that we've got a chance to turtle up and play a little bit tall now. Before we then start spreading wide across the land of Japan. Now that trade with foreign powers has been undertaken, a trade route to that nation will appear on the map. Huzzah. The route disappears off the map in the direction of actual routes of the time indicated by an arrow-shaped golden node. It is oh, not nice. possible to click on or interact with the node. It does not work the same way as trade posts in Shogun 2. Thanks for letting me know. So yeah, that's the, the all-important one. I mean, we're still getting machines from America as well. We've now got a, a dedicated one with Great Britain. 
It's now a British trading district. Got a load of coastal defense. I'd love to have a coastal defense battle or with them present. That'd be really nice. But yeah, we can now get raw marines. And we can now get, yeah, the ironclad warrior class. Which, can you get multiple of that or can you only get one? That's 18,900. Damn. I say, this is unmodded as well. You so spenny, but also your whole strength is, is 10,000. Powerful, enormous iron beast. The warrior class have unparalleled armament. You can only get the one. Uh, okay. That makes sense because, yeah, there is only one. Of which I've actually been on HMS Warrior down in, uh, down in Portsmouth. Incredible. Incredible ship. 42 guns. Wow. Cannon range 800. Doesn't tell you the firepower, does it? Maybe it tell you on here? Or is that not a thing in firepower as a stat? In Fall of Samurai probably just getting confused between this and napoleon huge upkeep what's the upkeep oh my days damn what the yeah huge initial cost and also cost 2588 oh holy honkin heck oh. worth it though it's an absolute beast and yes we will not end this campaign until we've seen that in action for sure Oh my days. Um, right. Time you. Come chill. Real life Katsumoto. Takamori. Chill there. Seven turns left on the modern army. We're saving money for the ironworks going to gunsmith because we don't want the armorer. We want that gunsmith plus 20 accuracy all troops recruited because that is incredible castle repression going in yeah that'll counter any other things that we have occurring that's going to go in which could be minus one happiness from modernization so they are about to get unhappy so we are gonna need to pop in another levy recruitment need to do some stuff there but first Let's let it build up a bit more. Intent. Oh, wow. That income just shot up again. Gateway to the West. Playing as that soon. Construct a trade district and trade with a, I'm assuming, Western power is going to be the... Uh... But there, here we go. Game overview. Let's see that. And trade with a foreign power within the same campaign. Fall of the Samurai only. Only 8.4% of players have this achievement. Interesting. The Takeda victory, actually, just out of interest. Again, you guys can't see this because the seam overlay doesn't show up on the recording. But uh, Takeda victory, only 3.6% of players have that achievement as plain as Takeda. Uh, Ezo uh, Republic, declare your independence and complete a campaign. Fall of the Samurai only. Only 2.4% of players have achieved that. I unlocked that on the 11th of Feb 2020, which must have been my Obama campaign. And then, yeah, I won that Obama campaign on the 26th of March. Oh, no. Was it was it Obama or was it my Sioux campaign? Which one was my... I think it was the Obama one. Yeah. Noise, noise, noise. Lord of War. Uh, eliminate any general battle. Yeah, it's not going to happen because uh, we're not at war with anyone right now. Look at our glorious... Oh, no. Well, I lie. I'm at the... We're just not actually doing anything against them. Oh, I could go hunt them down with my ships for some naval action, actually. Go on, then. At least go hit their trade route. Might as well do something with our ships. Off we go. Right, all that cash to splash into the gunsmith. Think. Oh! Um... Yeah, let's just upgrade Satsuma because we've left it fairly neglected till now. I really want to start recruiting some more units. But I'm waiting. I'm waiting until we've got that upgraded. Royal Marines already start with 83 accurate. Sorry, hang on. Cancel that. Is that is that specking how much it'll be when I can recruit? No. 
83 accuracy already. That's... We're getting plus 10 from the ironworks. When we upgrade that to the gunsmith, that's another plus 10. They're going to be at 93 accuracy. Holy moly. That's disgusting. And I'm here for it. Wow. We're all marines. I love you already. Oh my. Right. Yep, that's all good. Tosa, tosa, tosa. Yeah, let's see if we can pursue some naval action. In the meantime. Construction complete of the fortress in Satsuma. Modernization is going through the roof with that. Um, unlocks additional construction. So aren't we just capped at, at four anyway? We are going to have to recruit some more units because um, it's about... It's, it's going to be a minus 11 soon. Got to leave a good levy garrison there. I'd be very tempted to get some Royal Marines, but um, are we capped on the number we can get as well or not? But yeah, let's go for cheap and cheerful levy infantry. Same upkeep as the spear levy, but let's go for these guys because... Yeah. I mean, I kind of feel like we might as well have a foreign veteran here now because we're going to have armies built from here eventually anyway. So it won't hurt to have him start leveling up. Um, police station uh, might help later on, but we need some, aren't I? Will it just will will it just dwindle? Don't actually know. Do 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 do. do. Mm, cotton. To industry for more gold. Let's go for it. This is, I mean, this is one that we put up to be pretty good for income. Mm -hmm. Send these guys over here. Maybe we can get lucky with a naval battle. Depends if they've got any naval units. Toaster probably shredded them. Oh, they've got their red bear infantry out. Nice. I should get some beer to, uh, for tomorrow and do some horns. And we are only four subs away from 500. Drunk Baldur's Gate, anyone? <laughs> My Sanka campaign, yeah, will be uh, Immortal Empires. Mainly because I just think it'll be fun to play Kislev troops over by Dark Elves and then seek to unify all the lands of Kislev as well, like head back that way. Mainly because also you need to do that to be able to get access to the better Kislev troops, either through Conquest or Military Alliance. Asia increases in rank. To island. Nice. Oh, wow. They're the ones way up there. Nice. Trade? Yes. I do not Payment? wish to listen to you, but politics makes for strange and sometimes unwelcome encounters. Fine. Boom. Go, Navy, go. Steady as we go. Can't see them just yet, but soon. We've got the garrison forces repression. Still good. That artillery's in there now as well, so we can get Armstrong guns. When we can upgrade that again, we then get Gatling guns as well, which we need the modern army for. So ideally, we want to be able to upgrade both of those on the same turn because there's eight turns on each. Four turns left till that's done. So if we just save all our money for a few turns, we could get them both kicked because we need what? 20. Let's just say 22k. Be safe. Build up over a few turns. Why not? 
you guys are getting more income and stuff like that. Lovely. Oh, are you going to go find anyone? Are they a bomber or the toaster? Can't remember if they are or not. They probably don't have any ships. No, there's a ship. Oh, go on. Let's have a little naval battle. Clan rises. That's Yama. They're not too far away from where we are. Tatsuke, did they just take them out? It rose and they Tatsuke took them out at the same time? Looks like it. I... I do not... mm, trade partners with the Tosa. Okay. I mean, it's going to be an absolute Ready for orders. wipe the floor moment with them. If I can catch them. But let's have a little bit of fun. Quick little battle. Right. Yeah, let's let's leave you here. And sell the big boys right at them because we've got we've got the explosive shell. Oh, these these naval maps are massive. I guess it's because it's built obviously after um or made after Napoleon, the an empire where you had attack, pretty massive sir. ones. But I feel like the naval battles that came after this in Rome and what have you were much smaller. I feel like maybe you needed bigger ones in Empire and Napoleon because of the wind gauge and the weather gauge so that you could utilize the wind a bit more and use that whole bit, big slower movement. But probably not so much needed with this one. It's nice though. That all oh, right, it's not a full like you'll use that loadout, it's just use them for that time, I guess, and then defaults back. Yeah, sorry, because yes, yeah, it's, it's stat you've got your standard shot, they're firing, then you've also got an option for solid shot and explosive shot. I don't know what the difference is solid shot with versus your regular one. Oh, no, no, sorry, it has switched over to it, it's got a yellow icon on it. Yeah, my bad, my bad. I lie. So yeah, it is solid shot. I always kind of wondered that. I assumed like, surely it must be its default. What what else are you gonna have but solid shot? Turn. And I wanna yeah have that one be the distraction, and this one be the one getting right behind it. So we'll overheat the engine. And we're heading in pretty close. Hold. Rake it from both sides. Right, you're now loaded with explosive shell. I just think you're a bit too far out. Overheat the engine again. Overheat the engine. Sorry, it can take that. It can take the battering. It's a strong ship. There we go. Here we go. 
Yeah, torpedo boats are a lot of fun in this as well. Yeah, they're on fire. Manual firing. Uh, one thing as well, some people forget. It's not just manual firing. It's actually... Oh, uh, it's on fire. <laughs> but it's actually full manual control you have. When you press H, you can actually steer your ships as well. Boom. Explosive shot. Against wooden ships. We knew it was going to happen there. <laughs> Fire? In our wooden ships? No. Who'd have thunk it? Hi. Okay. We've got a good amount of gold. Two more turns, which is... We've got three more turns on that. Yeah, that's fine. No, Saga, because I'm coming to kill you soon and I'd have to wait a 10-turn cooldown. And I feel like we've waited enough turns recently. So, yeah. Once we got that built, once it's safe, off we go. Yeah, I just need the machines to build the building, not to actually recruit the units, as far as I'm aware. So, once it's built, even if we then lose the machines, I don't think it matters because we built the building. I don't know if it means we can't build the building anywhere else, but I, I doubt we want to i mean okay it'd be useful for bearing troops across but still we've got a good number of if we increase if we keep upgrading the castle it also increases the number of troops we can kick out so i'll make for pretty pretty short work of stuff uh yeah one more turn savings all we need pretty much uh could get the castle on the go maybe as well we'll just see we'll just leave it as is Send my ship in here, and I'm going to attack port. In fact, would it be better for me to hit the... Yeah, raid the trade route. That's going to be the better option. Glacier increases in rank. Bounty unrest. Okay, that's where my geishas leveled up. French soap. French soap. Let's do it. Uh, inspiring truth. Happiness with... Yes. Amazing. That's actually going to fix it for us. Huzzah! Right, one more turn to the modern army is done. Huzzah! Gun batteries are good, but I'm probably going to go through, uh, probably going to go through, yeah, through copper plating and, ar uh, and iron plating for our ships. Oh, and I want to get torpedo boats. Actually, I might just get, I might do that first, just because torpedo boats are really silly and lots of fun to play with. Um, we've got enough money right now. We won't, I don't think, if we upgrade that, but let's just do it on the off chance that we just about get enough money to do both, which I no, we're going to be uh, no, we won't be able to do it actually no, we'll be, we'll be sure actually what we could do, if everyone is happy crank the taxes up high for a single turn just to get a little bit extra in so we can kick everything off next turn good, good, good right, another end turn lovely Naga Oka doing really well. Oh, they oh they're fighting against the the yellow. Okay, 
action. Let's start training with the Matsume. Bellafo, yeah, I know we failed it. Yeah, everything's unhappy. Oh, that was that. Oh, we actually had a Samurai Revolt. I thought... Uh-oh. I thought we had everything covered. We do now. I must have just pushed it over the edge because it was already unhappy for a turn, wasn't it? Yeah, so it had another turn of unhappiness. Whoops. Whoops. Right, well, we can finally do it at the Army War College. Yes! And the Arsenal in. Amazing. Right, eight turns and then we can get our best troops. Now, I'm assuming it doesn't matter if we were to kick off against the um, Saga now because we've got those things built in. Um... Right, we are going to need to deal with you guys. Unfortunately, that's got four more turns, so he's going to be our best troops. I want to save those for when we've got the absolute best out that we can. Have uh, Their reload skill sucks. Help shooters. Mm, yeah. Let's just go for some. Imperial Infantry. How happy are you guys? Five. So you can probably afford to lose four, just in case. Bombard them. They should be supported by my ships. They're close enough for it. We start getting some ports upgraded. Copper plating is what we want now, which is what we're researching. Although I did want to go for the torpedo boats. Let's get copper plating, then torpedo boats. And then start saving up for the HMS Warrior. Oh, have they been wiped out? No, it's just not a trade route for them anymore. Why is it not a trade route? Just tap the port. Probably start bringing them back in a second. Right. Master's report. Lovely. Ooh. They, okay, they march towards us over here. Interesting. Um. Hmm. Okay, they're unhappy if I do that. At your service. At your command. Attack! Throw out a few more levy troops because yeah, they're gonna be constantly unhappy. Otherwise. Right. Probably start bringing the fleet back now. Start getting ready to go off the saga. Although I'm going to stop by their island here so I can see what's going on. That'll be useful. Anything else we can build, upgrade? I don't think there is. Um, they're okay there. I can't bombard, unfortunately. We sail for glory. At your command. Stay in the port for next time and turn again.
Oh, have they hit my port? Oh, it's not affected that. Uh, oh, wait. Okay. Oh, uh, right. That has that. So they have now broken it. And I'm not, get, I'm not getting machines right now. But that's still going on. I don't know if that will stop me building it anywhere else. That's the real... I don't think I've got it anywhere else, though, to check. But it's still going in there, which is all good. Oh, have those rebels just messed me over. My sword for you. Hopefully not. Because again, it's already underway and hopefully just repairing that fixes it. That's the only trading port I've got as well. But yeah, it's not cancelled out, so I don't think it can stop me getting those units. Just be interesting to see if I can build the Army War College anywhere else. But as we said, this is probably the only place we do want to build it anyway. So all good. Um, oh, I can't quite reach you. Oh, I can from there. That failed to do any damage. Jump back in the port. Move this army in. Okay, we will open with this battle at the start of the next episode. For those watching on YouTube, join us next time to see us face the Samurai Rebellion. Until then, take care and ciao for now.